Situația din Moldova se tăță oligar și ăștia, ne fugărim de aici, pentru că noi de-am ne ajunge la gât. Я могу сказать, что сейчас каждый рвется к власти. Есть десяток политических значит, формирований, которые... Почему возможно кровопролитие? Потому что никто не хочет отступать. We're in Moldova where people have been protesting against their government for months now. They say that the leaders of the country are corrupted after they were implicated in a scandal last year where a billion euros went missing from the banks. Both pro-European and pro-Russian opposition parties have kind of started working together I and mean, they're demanding that the government hold early elections. If the opposition party's demands aren't met by 5 p.m. tonight, they said they're going to initiate a wave of mass civil disobedience. Some of these camp people have built these uh, static shelters where they're protesting from this guy who's just going to show us inside. He's pointing over there, he's a pro-European, he's got the European Union flag. What do you think about the situation here now with all the corruption and the protests? The situation in Moldova is the same oligarch as these. We're going to get out of here because we're going to get out of here. The opposition, like you guys have said that if your demands aren't met by a certain deadline tonight, that something else is going to happen, civil disobedience. What do you think will happen? No, credim ca Ucraina fi război. Că noi rupim tet. Ce suntem moldoveni? Da, suntem moldoveni. A să învii Putin și a spui în genunchi și a zic că iertați-mă că eu vreau cu Europa. Părăl! There were certainly quite a few veterans we've been told I hear and they're very angry the way things have turned out. Of course they fought for this country and now they feel it's kind of captured by oligarchs and corruption. <laughs> Can you just explain to me what's going on in Moldova at the minute? Why are these protests happening? The economic situation in Moldova is pretty bad right now. The local currency has depreciated a lot, so people feel much poorer now. We can add one billion dollar theft, the money that disappeared from the banking system. So the population got angry with that. People started demonstrating. We have now protesting two pro-Russian groups and another one which claims it is pro-European. So pro-European and pro-Russian groups are working together? They do now. They want early elections because they say the politicians which are in power now have no moral support of the population. We're here in the, the, the pro-European camp. Just down the road uh, there's, there's a pro-Russian camp. What do you think will happen if you know they did get the demands? The pro-Russian parties uh, have the chance of taking the majority into the parliament. In that case, Western countries, and I mean here European Union, would lose their influence in Moldova. EU and US don't want to risk. They want stability at the border. Stability means uh, keeping this government functioning right now. So we've come to the markets area here in Chisinau just to speak to normal people to find out how the theft of a billion euros from their economy has affected them and to find out what they think about the protests that are going on in the centre. What do you think about the protests that have been going on recently? The protests are affecting the world because we have been able to live in the world. Fie o conducere serioasă, să avem încredere în trânsă, pentru că popor trebuie să... How has it affected normal people in the streets? Fiem sărași cu totul. Eu sunt la pensie și am 700 de lei pensia. Și că stau în drum și vând haine ca să mă întrețin, ca să mă hrănesc. What do you think about what's going on here? Eu mă găsesc că acesta este rvăță cu vlasti. Este десяток политических значит, формирований, которые просто хотят прорваться к власти. We spoke to some people here that have said they're worried that what happened in Ukraine might happen here in Moldova. I mean, do you think that's possible? Москва и не скрывает, что она имеет, она хочет здесь иметь, ну, скажем так, свое влияние. Я бы как гражданин этой страны не хотел бы. Почему возможно кровопролитие? Потому что никто не хочет отступать. So this is the pro-Russian camp. 
It's a lot bigger than the European one. Here they've got a lot of tents, but they do have security that are around here 24 seven. What do you think about the situation here? Some people say this is pro-Russian. What are your views? Poveste, asta special spun toate canalele de televiziune a oligarhului, special pentru dezinformarea populației a noastră țara Moldova. Țara noastră Moldova nu suntem pentru Rusia sau pentru Europa. Moldova trebuie să fie poarta între Rusia și Europa, că so far the peaceful protests haven't really done anything the government haven't given in to the demands um, what do you think will happen next in the country no se se noi sperăm că o să ajungem până la victorie și sperăm că partenerii că europeni că și Rusia se vor implica nu cu arme sau cu ceva dar nu în mod politic să le lămurească adică să nu ia să nu ia accepte People say no, we're not pro-Russian, but I guess whoever has this tent is got the uh, kind of Russian solidarity colours there. And we're in sickle, communist stuff. So it's gone 5 p.m. now, which was the deadline, which the opposition party said they wanted to hear from the government by. Um, the government hasn't said anything, and the opposition parties have just announced that they'll be here in 50 minutes to tell everybody what they've got planned next. <laughs> care au protestat ultimele luni, celor care au fost duminică și în alte zile. Astăzi vreau să fie clar că o să mergem până la urmă. Cu regret, noi nu am primit niciun răspuns. Dacă guvernarea, pretinsă guvernare, are ceva de spus, puteau să o spună până astăzi. Noi, reprezentanții protestatarilor, la întrevedere de la orele nouă, nu vom merge. Dacă domnul Candu vrea să ne-o spună nouă direct în față, nu are decât la orele 10, alături de reședința de stat, la Julie Allen, dacă nu mă greșesc. Following last night's announcement, we've come to a public forum put on by the opposition parties where the opposition are discussing what happens next. The government haven't given in to the demands, they're not going to have any elections. Um, these guys are deciding whether or not the next protest are going to be a bit more aggressive than the last ones we've so far have been pre -peaceful. So far the protests have been peaceful, nothing has really happened. What do you think will have to happen to change things here? Atâta timp cât revendicările populare nu vor fi uh, executate, protestele vor continua, vom încerca să menținem același caracter pașnic, civilizat, democratic, sperăm să ne reușească, deși, vă mai repet încă o dată, spiritul protestatar este marcat profund de tendințe de a recurge la uh, acțiuni mult mai violente decât ce s-a întâmplat până acum. You're a pro-European party. Why did you decide to kind of work together with the pro-Russian parties? Because your interests are clearly not the same. O precizare. Nu a făcut nimeni niciun fel de alianțe, niciun fel de unificare, nu a făcut niciun fel de pacte, decât, pur și simplu, oamenii care veneau în stradă și protestau într-un anumit loc, și alții care protestau în alt loc au decis să se unească. Decizia ca protestele și e, nu există nimic altceva care ne-ar uni în momentul de față decât democrația. Some people think that if you get rid of this government which is seemingly run by oligarchs, then you guys will just install another government that will be run by different oligarchs, your oligarchs. I mean, what do you think to that? Noi vrem să scăpăm de oligarhi în general. Noi vrem ca de politică să se ocupe politicienii și a criminalului numărul 1 Republica Moldova, Placutniuc. Iată cu cine sperie el, să se cunoască în toată lumea. A lot of people have mentioned Vladimir Plahotnik to us. He's a very powerful person here in Moldova. A lot of people say he's an oligarch, that he runs things from behind the scenes. He owns a lot of institutions, a lot of media companies. He did want to be the new prime minister, but the president said that his integrity has been called into question due to a lot of claims that he's corrupted. This opposition party have said that he's a bad guy, they need to get rid of him, but they have quite dubious backgrounds themselves. Whether they'll be any better at running Moldova remains to be seen. <laughs> Все партии, вне зависимости, пророссийские, проромынские, проевропейские, промолдавские, 
объединились для того, чтобы свергнуть правящий режим, и я уверен, мы это сделаем. You're pro-Russian. If... No, no, no. Your, pro... your party isn't pro-Russian? <laughs> My party. Our party is pro-Moldavian. The first. You said in an interview that I read yeah. that you'd want to close down the U.S. Embassy and start a karaoke bar there. <laughs> you know, uh, I declared about this. Uh -huh. I didn't like the position of Victoria Nuland when she visited Bucharest. She supported uh, uh, this um, uh, criminal uh, government. They uh, destroyed our political project. And my uh, dream is that Moldova uh, should be uh, a place Uh, where East and West are collaborating. It's very clear that the government here are corrupted, but they also say that you are, they say you have links to the Russian secret services. I mean, is that true? Last year, there are a lot of uh, tales that Renato Usat is representing. Special services, uh, uh, criminal structures. Renato Usat came to Moldova to destroy the European future of Moldova. So it's like a, you think it's a smear campaign? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you want to happen next? Because the peaceful protests, let's be honest, they're not really done anything. I ask all the people in Moldova to prepare flowers. Is it a funeral for the government? Huh? A funeral for the government? A kind of funeral. <laughs>